it's Lil Patriot, and today I'm going to be showing you a certain kind of bracelet, because it's going to be a mystery bracelet today, but it is a great beginner's bracelet, though. It's a great beginner's bracelet, but it's really cool, so you can use as many colors as you want. I'm going to be using this, like, um, neon orange right here, and I'm going to use this kind of green one, and... Also, this neon green and purple. You can use as many colors as you want. So to start, take only one band, oops, one band, and just drop it on the peg, like we always do if you have seen my other tutorials. Just drop one on each peg. Normally we only place one, but or I mean two, but this time we're just going to be placing one. So now you can just line up your colors however you want. So I'm going to go like this, and then I think I'll do this one next. And this is all just one band. Now let's see. This one. So just one band. And then I will do purple. Then I think I will repeat that. And you're just going to literally do this like for all of the pegs all the way up. And you're going to do that on each row. And then we can move on to the next step. But just continue doing this just keep going and i'm going to end with orange and then now you're going to go to your next row and just do the exact same pattern unless you want yours to be different but I'm just going to do mine just like this. I keep mixing up my two greens. Just clarifying that on all of my rows, I'm going to just make them all the same. So see orange and then I'm just going to do mine like that. I just want mine to all be even, I guess you could say. Hopefully this won't take you guys too long. So for me, I am halfway done laying all my bands down. So now we're going to do the next three rows or the last three rows, I guess you could say. So just keep going. And I'm going to be making a few more Super Crazy Loom videos. I think I'll be doing like three more, three or four more. But then, don't worry, I won't be done with my channel. But I am going to 
start making monster tail videos. Because I think I have enough rain balloon videos for now. Unless I make up like some really cool design. But I think I'm pretty much done with the remaining ones. But I'm, I'll probably make maybe a few more later on. Like some super cool. I will say again that, um, I will say again that, I forgot what I was going to say, um, let me think for a second. <laughs> okay. So I will also make a few of, a few videos of the uh, smaller crazy loom, like the little uh, kind of round one. But I think that later on, I'll get like another loom as well and make more videos. So those of you who like my channel, don't worry, my channel is not stopping yet. And it's not for a while, so. So now you're going to lay your last band like this. And now you, this is what your loom should look like. You should have all your colors. So I am going to just push mine down, but always make sure on this loom that it is facing this way and make sure that it is not facing this way. So it should be like this, that's how you should have set it up. But now you're going to turn it around like this and you are going to lay cat bands. So now you're gonna take one band, you can stretch it if you want and you're going to take it, put it on the first peg and stretch it across all six pegs. That is what I do, or that's how you should do it. I don't really need to stretch mine. I think my bands are fine, but if you need to, go ahead. Sorry, it's a little dark. So then just continue that all the way down. And then you just keep switching off colors if you want to. Make sure that you do not, oops, make sure you do not skip any of them. Make sure of that. So you're going to do this on all the pegs, except you're not going to lay one on this row. You will probably find out why, like after we do this next step. Not this step, but the step after it. I'm going to lay my last one, but please pause the video if you have not finished yet or if you need help. So now, make sure that you have one on each. So now you're going to grab your hook and just kind of make sure nothing is overlapped. So now really close so you're gonna move this band back with your finger and you're going to grab this one band 
over the top. Just like that to the pig in front of it. And you're going to do this on all the pegs, including that last row. Then just move this one right here. There we go. Now what you're going to do is push this next one back and you see that purple band down there you're going to stick your hook in and grab it you just keep on grabbing that one band So just keep going, but make sure you don't skip any pegs because it will fall apart and that's really disappointing when it all falls apart. I have had that happen and it's really, really annoying. Oops, Ooh, it's a good thing I caught that. Go. I don't know why my camera moves so much on this part. That was so random. It's kind of hard to see the orange bands because it's my orange loom, but sorry about that. sure you have hooked it correctly and just do this all the way down Almost there, guys. And just loop your last row. Just loop your last peg. So now 
we can move on to the next step. So now, guys, we can kind of move on to the easier stuff. Hopefully, this will be easy for you. So these bands that we had laid down, pick each the one band, stick your hook in, and grab the other one and just place it on, and then place the other one on, and turn your hook and pull one loop through the other, creating a slip knot. So then you hook that off the peg, put your slip knot on, and don't worry, I will show you again. Pinch it and stick your hook and grab that, put the other end on. And if you want, you can just pinch this one and pull it over to make a slip knot. Just pull it a little bit and then take your hook and just loop off this one peg. And then you place your slip knot back on. I'll show you up close one more time. Pinch it, go just like this, and you can just pull it over so that makes it easier for you just like that and then do this process for the next or the last three pegs There we go. This is what you should have. So now you are going to very carefully take it off without breaking your bands. So if I were you, I would use your hook and just hook them off. And, and if you have no idea what I am doing, you're just taking your hook and just hooking each peg off just that so now you're just gonna continue this So when you get to here, just carefully loop off this last row right here. So you're, you just don't really want, you don't want your slip knots to come off. So just loop those last few pegs. And then now, look how pretty it looks. I love it so much. This is like, I think maybe like my new favorite bracelet. Now, you're going to stick your hook in like this, and then just like that, just like that, so this is what yours should look like. You can make a second piece if you want but i'm not going to do that now i'm just going to do a single chain all around and i'm going to do the same color pattern that i did so i'm going to start with orange so take one band and carefully pull it through all those slip knots and put it back on just like this and then going to take your next color put it on, pull it through those two place it back on just continue this till you have the length of your wrist
So you see it's starting to form. And I think I have my length, like right here. I think I'll just take one band off. And you are going to grab your C or S clip. But I'm going to use the small C or S clips. So this is what they look like. Whoops. They're quite small. So I'm going to use one of those or these. Pinch these two bands, put it on your finger, and just take it off your hook. And then you are going to place it on the C or S clip. Or C clip, sorry. And just kind of adjust it a little bit, make sure your bands are not too tight. Unless you don't really care, but. And just like that. And then you're going to grab this band right here and just simply clip it on so now you are done so this is what it looks like when it's done so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i will see you in the next one so please subscribe and like to my channel